Hi, welcome to GarageDoorWeatherSteel.com. This, this video is going to try to give you an overview of the uh, different weather seals that are available for a wood door. Um, we carry three different options. This is your common wood door weather seal. This part here is nailed to just nailed to the bottom of the door. This is a soft sponge product. It's nice in that it will lay down into some imperfections on the floor and it gives you a good seal. Uh, it's like we say, sponge. It's made of sponge. There's, there's rubber and vinyl mixed in it. It's more rubber than vinyl. Very easy to install. You typically, you just take the old weather seal off, pull out all the nails, scrape it clean. It's always a good idea to paint the bottom of the door before you put a new weather seal on it to keep the moisture from going up in it. But once you drive a nail up in there, no matter what you've done to the bottom of the door, that moisture is going to follow up in that nail uh, nail hole. So it's, it's not really the perfect solution. Uh, and it's the common way of doing it. It's just this kind of seal, nailing it to the bottom of the floor. We do have an option for that, and I'll get to that in a second. Here's the other weather seal that is a nail-on product. This is EDPM rubber, solid, heavy, dense. It's a very dense product. If, if, if you want to change your weather seal on your garage door and you want to put on something that's going to last for forever, practically, this is the product to do. If you want to just a quick fix where you're going to replace it with pretty much what's there and not get into uh, putting a channel and whatnot, which I'm going to discuss in a minute, this is the way to go. It's a great product, uh, very well made, real heavy duty stuff. Again, it's nailed, same deal. Pull the old off, pull out the nails, scrape it, paint it, nail it up, it's good to go. Door goes here, flap is on the inside of the door. That's on both of these. Now here's the upgrade. We have different kind of retainers, different width retainers for you that you basically remove the old seal, scrape it, pull the nails out, and then this goes on the bottom of the door. And you just drill holes in here and screw it on the bottom of the door. What we do is we'll put a couple of beads of silicone on here, put that up on the door, and then screw it tight. And again, we have it in various widths. It accepts a quarter inch T-style weather seal. This is a T-style weather seal that we have in a wide variety of this. We've got it in different colors, at different widths, and in some specialty seals too. If you look around on our website, you're going to, website, you're going to see that, that we have quite a, a lot of options for you in the quarter inch T. So you get the retainer installed on the bottom of the door. You slide the, uh, the, the T-style weather seal into the retainer. And now, now you've got a seal that is comparable to like a steel door, as opposed to the pretty basic seals that you just nail on the bottom of the door. We like these a lot, and for the, for the money, which isn't much, considering what you're getting, this is a nice upgrade to a wood door. These are also good to consider if you have a carriage house wood door. What we've done in the past is we have, like I say, different widths of these retainers. We'll have this retainer, a double re retainer, on a real thick door. On some of the carriage doors, they're up to three inches thick. You can put two channels underneath it of the flat and then just use the outside two uh, tracks to put this weather seal in. So on, it's, it's almost a crime to take a carriage house, wood carriage house, handmade door, and put this type of weather seal on it. This is, is, is much nicer and gives you a much better seal. And again, with the different widths of, available in this type of weather seal, if your floor is off a little bit, you, you don't have to go to the, to, the, to the extreme of scribing the door to the floor. Uh, you can install one of these, and it will take up a lot of gaps and uh, imperfections in the floor. So uh, we're going to go through these one by one on the individual listings. So click ahead and check them out. Thanks a lot.